By now, I'm sure you've seen the absolutely horrific viral video of four police officers in Minneapolis, Minnesota, murdering a black man named George Floyd. And as one of the officers had his knee on George Floyd's neck, he was crying out, I can't breathe. You've got your knee on my neck. And he started crying for his mom. And as this man begged for his life, as people who were watching this take place begged and pleaded with the police officers to let him up because they were killing him, they were completely stone-faced. They had no emotions. They didn't care that they were literally killing somebody. This was a murder. This was a murder. And we have to call it what it was. This wasn't an officer-involved killing, as some politicians want to describe it. This was a murder, a cold-blooded murder that we all saw with our very eyes. And the police officers were fired once they started to, uh, the police department sensed public backlash that was growing, but that's not enough. Murderers don't get to go free. Murderers should be charged. And, you know, anyone who watched this video, who saw the callousness on these police officers' faces, were struck by it. But if you talk to any black American, this isn't surprising to them. This happens every single day. And they know how little the cops view them, right? They don't view them as human beings. They dehumanized black Americans. They harass and target black communities. And... It's just, it, it keeps happening, but at what point are we as a society going to stop this from happening? You would think that the prevalence of this would maybe decrease because everyone basically has a camcorder in their pocket. They can film these instances. So you think that maybe that would be some sort of check, but it's not at all. I mean, people were literally filming this police officer and re he refused to take his knee off of this man's neck. He didn't care that the world was inevitably going to see this. He did not care. They don't care. They don't value black lives. And so the story is just, it's gut-wrenching. And it keeps ha happening, and it's going to continue to happen until we do something about this and we stop this from happening. America is so fucked up. But here's the thing, it's, it's not like this is a new phenomenon, it's always been this way. The difference is that now we can see it, now we can see these things happen. Now white America gets clued in on what's been happening to black America since the founding of this country. It's fucking disgusting. So there's no words to really, uh, you know, uh, close out this story. There's no great flowery rhetoric that I can use about us coming together and fighting this. I mean, how can you not just be completely fucking disgusted by this? How could you not watch that video in horror and just completely lose all sense of hope in America and in the world that they just killed this man not even caring? Completely stone-faced, not caring that they are murdering someone in broad daylight with cameras on them and they don't care. They don't care at all. Completely ap apathetic, ambivalent. Unbelievable. Now, we got newly released surveillance footage confirming that there was no signs that George Floyd was resisting arrest. They can't try to make it seem as if he was doing anything wrong in this instance or that the police officers' lives were threatened. That certainly wasn't the case. And we're now hearing from the family of George Floyd. His sister, Bridget Floyd, called on the four police officers to be charged with murder, rightfully so. And in an interview with CNN's Don Lemon, his brother and other family members also called for the police officers to be charged with murder because they committed murder. Take a look. The four officers involved have been fired. Uh, which the mayor of Minneapolis said was the, the right call. But is that enough for your family, Philonese? No, not at all. I love my brother. Everybody loved my brother. Knowing my brother is to love my brother. They could have tased him. They could have maced him. Instead, they, would, they put their knee in his neck and just sat on him and didn't care at all. He screamed, mama, mama, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And they didn't care. 
So I don't, I don't, I just don't understand what more we got to go through in life, man. They didn't have to do that to him. He's a jump giant. He don't hurt anybody. He give his last to anybody. They didn't care. They treated him worse than they treat animals. And I was like that. They took a life, now they deserve life. I don't feel sorry for them. They hurt me and they hurt my family. I can't take nothing back. I can't get my brother back. They at home, they sleep, they with their wives, they got kids. If something like that happened to them, they'll be just like me. I just don't know what's going on now. So firing them is 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 a good start, but we want to see justice for our family. And um we want to see them charged. We want to have them arrested. They need to be charged with because what they did was was murder. And almost the whole world has witnessed that because somebody was gracious enough mm -hmm. to report it. Hmm. Um, the the uh, connection, we lost it for a second. You said you want to see them charged. Did you say charged with murder? Is that what you said? We want to see them charged with murder. Right. And we want them to be convicted. We want them arrested. They need to pay for what they did. Um, he didn't deserve what happened to him. And they didn't do anything to help him. They were supposed to be there to serve and to protect. And I didn't see a single one of them lift a finger to do anything to help while he was begging for his life. Not one of them tried to do anything to help him. That I didn't see. What I did see was murder. And that's what I want them to be arrested and charged and convicted mm -hmm. for. My heart goes out to them, but I mean saying that is meaningless because no flowery rhetoric, as I stated, is going to, you know, bring him back. It's not going to get justice in this situation. So there's no words really that are profound enough to like resonate with anyone that will make the situation better. This is just disgusting. And that's that's it. Now, you know, um, there were a lot of protests that erupted and the police officers responded as you expected them to respond with riot gear, throwing tear gas at the protesters who were rightfully outraged at the fact that the individuals who are supposed to protect and serve murdered someone in cold blood in their community. Now, I'm going to have another video coming up where we kind of contrast the response to the police uh, with the Minneapolis protesters and, you know, the protests that we saw just a few weeks ago from anti-quarantine protesters who were literally getting up in the faces of police officers screaming. It's a double standard. You can't exist in America if you're black. Anything that you're doing, no matter how innocent it may be, you are always under threat that the police may kill you. What kind of a fucked up world is that? How can we let this happen and sit idly by and you know just try to put it out of our minds and move on to the next one once it inevitably happens and you know forget about the last one we're seeing modern day lynching lynchings happen and the outrage just isn't there i mean sure this is a story that everyone is compelled by it's a viral video but we're seeing modern day lynchings why aren't we proper taking the proper action? I don't know what to say. There, there's nothing to say in this instance. It's going to keep happening unless we put a stop to it, unless we actually change this country. So that's that. Another black man was murdered by police officers.